While Nigeria, Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, and Ghana have made significant economic progress, South Africa stands out as Africa's original gangster, OG. Despite being surpassed by Nigeria in terms of GDP, South Africa is still the continent's second richest country. South Africa is distinguished by its long history of economic stability and established financial infrastructure, earning the nickname Old Money Rich. The country's economic history and early industrialization have resulted in a strong and diverse economy, making it a major player in the African financial scene. South Africa's economic strength stems from its historical significance as one of the continent's early industrialized nations. The country has a well-established financial sector, advanced infrastructure, and a diverse range of industries, all of which contribute to its economic success. While new entrants such as Nigeria have experienced rapid economic growth, South Africa's economy reflects a legacy of stability and wealth accumulation, establishing it as a prominent economic force with long-term influence in the African context. South Africa, also known as the OG Nation, exudes a sense of African royalty, and its historical achievements contribute to this image. Beyond the iconic figure of Nelson Mandela, South Africa has a legacy that includes industrial prowess. The country was at the forefront of industrialization, with South Africans establishing automobile manufacturing factories while Nigeria had yet to adopt a national anthem. This early industrialization laid the groundwork for a diverse and robust economy, establishing South Africa as a leader in industrial development on the continent. South Africa's economic strength is further demonstrated by its extensive banking sector, which makes it the only African country with enough banks to host its own World Cup. This achievement highlights the country's financial stability and infrastructure, demonstrating its ability to organize and host major global events. Furthermore, South Africa's commitment to quality goes beyond its economic achievements, as evidenced by the country's safe and potable drinking water, which is ranked third best in the world. This combination of historical industrial leadership, financial prowess, and a commitment to quality cements South Africa's position as a unique and influential player in the African landscape. Ranked alongside economic powerhouses such as England, Germany, China, and the United States, South Africa stands out for its significant wealth, which is driven by a variety of factors. South Africa's abundant natural resources are a critical component of its economic prosperity. The country is endowed with a diverse range of minerals, which provide a solid foundation for its wealth. The country's mineral wealth includes gold, platinum, diamonds, coal, and other valuable commodities. This rich endowment establishes South Africa as a global mining player, ensuring a consistent influx of revenue and foreign exchange. Furthermore, the strategic use of these natural resources has allowed South Africa to build a strong and diverse economy. The mining industry, in particular, has played an important role in the country's economic growth by attracting investment and promoting industrialization. Beyond minerals, South Africa has used its power resources to improve the country's energy security. This combination of abundant natural resources and effective resource management has helped position South Africa as a major economic force on the global stage. South Africa's wealth is not limited to diamonds and gold. It includes a wide range of minerals that contribute significantly to the country's economic strength. The country has significant mineral reserves, including iron, platinum, manganese, chromium, copper, uranium, silver, beryllium, and titanium. This mineral wealth provides a solid foundation for South Africa's mining industry, which has been a driving force in the country's economy for decades. Despite a lack of commercially exploitable petroleum deposits, South Africa compensates with moderate amounts of natural gas discovered off its coastline. Furthermore, the country employs novel methods, such as coal-based fuel synthesis at major plants in the Free State and in Pumalanka provinces. While manufacturing has created more jobs and contributed significantly to the country's GDP, mining remains at the heart of South Africa's economic landscape. Mining-focused holding companies play an important role in investing in various economic activities, ensuring that the mining sector's influence is felt throughout the economy. 
This integration emphasizes mining's long-term significance in South Africa as both a historical economic driver and a contemporary force shaping the country's prosperity. The mining sector is a cornerstone of the South African economy, contributing significantly to the country's GDP each year. Gold, in particular, remains significant as one of the most important minerals in South Africa, with the country ranking among the world's largest producers and possessing extensive reserves. Despite its historical importance, gold production is gradually declining and prices have not reached the extraordinary heights seen in the early 1970s. The changing dynamics of the global market have influenced the trajectory of gold, forcing South Africa to adapt to changing economic landscapes. In addition to gold, coal is an extremely valuable mineral in South Africa's mineral wealth portfolio. The country has large, well-known coal deposits, mostly at easily accessible depths beneath the Pumalanga and Northern Free State Hyvels. Coal extraction is done strategically for export, with major destinations in East Asia and Europe. Furthermore, coal is an important source of domestic energy, accounting for a significant portion of South Africa's electricity production. This dual-purpose use emphasizes coal's multifaceted importance in both the global market and the country's energy infrastructure. South Africa is the world's leading producer of platinum and chromium, which has a significant impact on its economy. Mining operations in key centers, such as Rustenburg and Steelport in the Northeast, play an important role in extracting these valuable minerals, fostering economic growth, and strengthening South Africa's global mining industry position. The vast deposits of platinum group and chromium minerals, particularly those located north of Pretoria, highlight the strategic importance of these resources in the country's mineral wealth portfolio. Platinum and chromium mineral extraction and processing not only contribute to South Africa's economic prosperity, but they also have a significant impact on the dynamics of global markets for these essential metals. Furthermore, Northern Cape Province emerges as an important region with significant deposits of iron ore and manganese. These mineral resources are critical to many industrial sectors, including steel production and manufacturing. The province's abundance of iron ore and manganese deposits makes it an important player in the global supply chain for these critical raw materials. Furthermore, the eastern coast of South Africa is characterized by the presence of titanium-bearing sands, adding to the country's diverse array of valuable minerals. The strategic distribution of these deposits across different regions emphasizes the multifaceted role that South Africa plays in global mineral markets. South Africa's mineral wealth includes more than just platinum and chromium. The country is a major producer of other minerals, which contributes to its diverse mining industry. The minerals extracted include uranium, palladium, nickel, copper, antimony, vanadium, fluorspar, and limestone. Each of these minerals has a unique role in various industrial applications, ranging from energy generation to manufacturing processes. The diverse mineral portfolio strengthens South Africa's position as a major player in the global mining sector, supplying critical resources to a variety of industries around the world. Diamond mining is another notable aspect of South Africa's mineral industry, which was historically centered in Kimberley. While Kimberley remains a major hub, diamond mining activities have spread across the country. De Beers Consolidated Mines Limited controls the majority of South Africa's diamond industry, which is one of the largest in the world. This dominance demonstrates South Africa's influence on the global diamond market, as the country plays a critical role in the extraction and distribution of these precious stones. Diamond mining contributes both economically and culturally to South Africa's rich tapestry of mineral resources. Eskom generates the majority of the electricity in Efimalanga's large stations. Synthetic fuel derived from coal meets a small portion of the country's energy needs, as does imported oil refined at ports or piped to a major inland refinery at Sasselberg. The hydroelectric potential is limited, though the government has developed projects on several rivers. More significant are projects to import electricity from Zambezi River stations at Kaparabasa and Maza, as well as rivers in the Lesidu Highlands. South Africa exports electricity to several Southern African countries. Selling electricity and power to other countries also increases South Africa's wealth. 
Let us talk about manufacturing. South Africa's major manufacturing sectors include food processing, textiles, metals, and chemicals. Agriculture and fisheries support significant activity in meat, fish, and fruit canning, sugar refining, and other processing. Over half of these goods are exported to other countries. Since the early days of producing explosives for mining, a large and complex chemical industry has grown. A coal-based petrochemical industry manufactures a variety of plastics, resins, and industrial chemicals. The metal industry, which is centered in Gauteng, sources a large portion of its raw materials from the area's iron and steel producers. Imported materials supply aluminum manufacturers, who are primarily located in KwaZulu-Natal. South Africa manufactures automobiles, ships, building materials, electronics, and a variety of other products, including armaments. However, the weapons industry has begun to diversify into non-military products. Production Following the lifting of military sanctions, the post-apartheid government has promoted a controversial arms export trade. Manufacturing has relied heavily on foreign capital. It expanded rapidly in the 1960s and early 1970s, but then slowed or even contracted in the 1980s. As mining declines, manufacturing and its need for foreign capital become increasingly important for national development. Approximately one-fourth of manufacturing output is exported. South Africa's Financial System South Africa has a well-developed financial system centered on the South African Reserve Bank, which is the sole issuer of the RAND, the national currency. It develops and implements monetary policy and oversees foreign exchange transactions. There are numerous registered banking institutions, some of which specialize in commercial banking, as well as merchant, savings, investment, and discount banks. One such bank, the Development Bank of Southern Africa, is a quasi-governmental organization established to promote development projects. The financial sector is heavily influenced by private pension and provident funds, as well as more than two dozen insurance companies. An active capital market exists, centered on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and trading with other countries. Because of its reliance on foreign trade, South Africa's economy is vulnerable to global economic developments. Precious and base metals have been the top exports. Agricultural products and military equipment are also significant contributors. South Africa's exports include the sale of electricity to neighboring countries. South Africa's main trading partners are China, the United States, Germany, and Japan, particularly through the Southern African Development Community. Since the end of apartheid, South African companies have sought to increase their investment in other African countries, particularly in mining and commercial activity. Tourism is also very important to the South African economy. While African countries account for the vast majority of tourists, Europe and the Americas are seeing an increase in arrivals. There are numerous tourist attractions, including the national and transnational parks. Travel across South Africa's borders to other African countries is becoming easier. Among the most popular tourist attractions are the wine regions of Western Cape Province, Table Mountain, and Robben Island, which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999, to name a few. Ecotourism is growing in popularity, as is village tourism, which allows visitors to learn about traditional rural culture. Air transportation and shipping. South Africa owns the most airports in Africa, with over 400 in total. Inland air services, both passenger and freight, are provided by South African state-owned airlines and an increasing number of private competitors. All major cities are connected by air, and we know how convenient it is to travel from one location to another as quickly as possible. It is easier to facilitate business and trade. South African airways and many foreign carriers fly between South Africa and all neighboring countries, with international service extending worldwide. Ortiambuo International Airport near Johannesburg serves as the country's primary domestic and international air transportation hub, while Cape Town and Durban airports are becoming increasingly important international destinations. All South African ports are owned and operated by South African Ports Operations and the National Ports Authority, both Transnet subsidiaries. South Africa has eight major ports. These numerous ports make international trade easier by facilitating imports and exports. 
Durban is the major port, serving the majority of KwaZulu Natal, Mpumalanga, and Northern Free State. Port Elizabeth, Cape Town, and East London, South Africa's only river port, handle both local and distant traffic. All of these ports transport goods to and from other African countries, such as Zimbabwe, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Maputo, the port closest to Johannesburg, serves many areas in the northern provinces. New reports have also been developed in places such as Richards Bay, which handles coal exports on KwaZulu Natal's north coast, and Sultana Bay, an excellent natural harbor north of Cape Town from which iron ore is exported. Agriculture You know African country can deny that agriculture has contributed to its GDP. South Africa isn't an exception. South Africa relies heavily on agriculture. It accounts for a significant portion of exports and makes significant contributions to the domestic economy, particularly as an employer, despite the fact that land and water resources are generally limited. Arable land accounts for slightly more than one-tenth of the country's total area. Well-watered fertile soils can be found primarily in the western Cape River valleys and along the kwazulu natal coast. Corn, wheat, sugarcane, sorghum, groundnuts, citrus and other fruits, and tobacco are among the most widely grown crops. Sheep, goats, cattle, and pigs are all raised for a variety of purposes. Wool and meat, including beef, lamb, mutton, and goat, are valuable. Dairy products, such as butter and cheese, as well as egg production, are also important, particularly in urban areas. Timber resources are limited, but the small amount of forested land has been supplemented by large areas of plantation in the wetter east and southeast. The forest industry provides mining timber, pulpwood for paper and board mills, and building timbers in sufficient quantities for a construction industry that primarily uses brick, concrete, and steel. Fishing areas are primarily located off the western and southern coasts. The main shoal fishing catches are Piltred and Musbanker, while offshore trawling catches Kinklip, Eklasol, Cape Hake, and Cabeljew, among others. In all honesty, despite South Africa's history and economic superiority over the rest of the continent, the country has definitely backbottled in recent years, with Nigeria now taking the economic lead. But I'm not going to rule out this sleeping giant, and I'm not betting against them waking up to their former affluence and glory. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and also subscribe to our channel so as not to miss out on our upcoming content. See you in another video, and thanks for watching.